Yesterday, many of us were introduced to this U.S. Marine and watched as he chastised the NYPD for their use of force against various protesters involved with Occupy Wall Street. Reactions seemed mixed to this man's diatribe, primarily because of the difficulty in knowing whether or not the various times that force has been used was warranted or not. The consensus seems to be that so long as protesters are peaceful, that they have every right to assemble and be heard regardless of whether you think they have a point or not. And I wholeheartedly agree. I would applaud this Marine if indeed the NYPD have lost sight of the citizens' rights and have trampled upon them. But that's where my personal jury is still out and deliberating. If you Google the words police, occupy, wall, and street, there is no shortage of videos showing arrests, pepper spray incidents, and physical interactions between protesters and officers. What is unclear in every video I have seen is what spurred the action to begin with. The initial provocation is either not filmed, conveniently edited out, or indeed these people have had their civil rights violated. But let me switch gears a bit and direct a question to you, the YouTube community, and more specifically the atheist and agnostic community at large. Various in, various in time speculators believe that there will come a day when persecution returns to the church. Depending on what country a Christian currently lives in, it already has. But let's say a day comes in our lifetime when my faith is either outlawed altogether or grows to be very unpopular and intolerable well beyond its current status. And let's say Christians are the ones that the state or police begin rounding up and arresting. It would seem the Dawkins mindset would believe this to be a good thing, as the effort to eradicate religion from society is a lofty and praiseworthy goal. But I know there are as many views throughout atheism as there are in any group. So I want to hear your thoughts specifically. What reaction, if any, would you have to Christians being persecuted by the state for their beliefs? I'm going to send this video to a few prominent atheists that I subscribe to, as well as possibly a deist or two. But all are welcome to answer and or discuss in the comment section. Thanks for watching.